Hey everyone, I'm Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles and today we are going to do what we're calling chalk highlights. I've also heard it called um, hair chalking. So it's a really, really fun way to add color to your hair, to the ends of your hair that everyone wants right now without actually dyeing your hair and it's really inexpensive. So what you're going to need is some chalk. Now you can go to Walmart or somewhere like that and buy your sidewalk chalk and this little 15 pack was three bucks but it doesn't work as well and you have to soak the chalk a lot longer to utilize it so I actually really prefer these chalks and they're actually pastels and you find them more in like your art pencil area of your craft store so I got these at Michael's I got 48 and I think I want to say it was 25 bucks but you can always use a 50% off coupon so it makes it a lot more reasonable too so that's what you're going to need and a spray bottle or some water. Okay, so we're just going to start by picking up a strand of hair and there's several ways that this can be done but I'll just show you the one that I find easy. Okay, I find you can spritz the actual hair strand but I don't think it works as good so I actually take the chalk and spritz the end of the chalk. So just like that and you can already see it starting to rub off on my fingers. If you want, you can wear, of course, rubber gloves or something like that, but it just rinses off, so it's not a big deal. And then just lightly take the chalk and run it down her hair strands. Now, don't go up and down and up and down because that's hard on your hair. Just go one direction down the hair strands, and you can see that it's already coloring her hair. Okay, now this is just sidewalk chalk, or pastel chalks. It's not going to damage your hair, it's non-toxic, it's actually pretty reasonable. I mean, it's a safe product to use. I know some kids in school and stuff are using like highlighters to color their hair ends, and I think that's kind of crazy. I like the chalk a lot better. So we just continue to go down, and you can do it as heavy or as light as you want it. just depends on how vibrant you want the colors, and you might have to keep as you go just slightly spritzing here and there again on the chalk to just add the color. So um, you can also, another way to do this would be to cut off just a little piece of the chalk, the pastel part, and soak it in a little dish and that would make it like a more of a paste and then you could use a paintbrush to just paint it on but I, it's a lot more time consuming just because you're then waiting, you know, for the chalk to sit and become a paste. So I find this one's very easy to use. So now we're going to switch over to pink. I think this would be really, really, really fun for like cheerleaders or um, even the holidays if you really wanted to go like. Christmas crazy and do red and green and Valentine's crazy and do pink and red or whatever. Now her hair is kind of a light brown is what I would call it. Of course this is going to show up even better if you're blonde. Um, but I have even seen this work in hair as dark as mine. And I'll show you when we're in a minute. I did some on my da other daughter this morning that she has even darker hair. And I'll show you what it looks like on hers. And of course, certain colors are going to show up better than others. If you, uh, like yellow shows up really, really well. Even if you had black hair, yellow would show up really well. Where, like, a gray may not show up as good. Um, okay, next color. So you can see I'm just kind of grabbing a little strand here and a little strand there. and running it down the hair strands and I know I'm gonna get asked so I'll tell you right now my curls this morning are my curls from the no heat headband so if you like my curls you can check out my no heat headband so it does not require any kind of curling iron to do these curls I just slept in them overnight and you can check out that video. I'll put a link to it in the box below. So you can just do as many or as few as you want. Um, 
I think I need another blue. And when you're done, I think it helps to set the color if you do just like a little bit of a curling iron. I think that looks good. And get the curling iron. So just take the curling iron. Now, when these dry, you'll note that it dries. Um, it feels just a little bit tiny. Um, I'm trying to think of the word I want. It feels a little bit stiff, like you have a mousse or something in your hair. And that's okay. Um, it's just the chalk. It's just going to wash out. It's not a big deal. So you can just go back. This is going to just help set the color a tiny bit to use a curling iron to just kind of add a tiny bit of curl on the ends too. Um, and make the hair look really pretty. It doesn't require very long. You can use a curling wand or a hair straightener too if you wanted. Whatever works. <coughs> this will just help the hair color, the color stay in. I think this would be really, really fun. I think you guys are all going to love this one. Okay. So there you go. And you have fun colored ends to match any outfit you want. And let me bring grab my other daughter and show you. And we just tipped hers this morning. We didn't do clear up the strands. And we did lots more colors. So let's try to stand out of the way. So in hers you can see we did orange and blue and pink and green and even purple and yellow. But that should give you a good feel for it. even on dark hair these are going to work and look good. Have fun! Try them out, send me your videos, leave a comment telling me which color is your very favorite color in hair and what color your hair is so that we know which colors work best. See you later!